Hello once more! You just missed this in being on my lap. Unfortunately, I started recording and my microphone was muted. Last time, the microphone was like... It was up like that, and you can't hear when that happens, because the noise cancellation on this microphone is extremely good. Um, anyway, I should probably actually play some games. Do, 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 do. Yes, I want to continue. Alright, so... Last we left off, and this is the same day, that's the reason why I'm wearing the same shirt. Um, last we left off, I had just stopped by the Inn at the Crossroads. The only single building in the entire game, if I remember right. I honestly don't remember where I need to go, so I'm going this way, because I can. Uh, hmm. Let me go explore outside first. I can't remember if that's where you go later on, or if that's actually where I'm supposed to go. Killer frogs! Long battle is long. Alright, I just remembered that I forgot to change the audio settings again, and I'd like to do this without having to um, adjust my mouth and audio. Or editing, there we go, that's the phrase I wanted to think of. Let's see if I can do that here. Alright, uh, let's see. Audio delay. Where are you, audio delay? Alright, so I now have a delay, so hopefully this works, otherwise I'll just edit it and post again. That's right, it helps if I actually click on EPSXE again. There we go. Yep, that's where I'm supposed to go. I hate that dungeon. That dungeon can go die in a fire. I'm going in the other direction. Because I can! And I believe there's actually loot here that I can get this early in the game already. I know that there's some type of object blocking my path. I'm saved if I go anything bad, so... I have seem to remember that these guys are actually not easy for me to kill right now. Maybe it was one fourth of the curse? I can't remember. Yep, decent place to grind this early. If I run low on MP, I'll just leave and go back to the inn. It's not very far away. That's a giant dragon. already seen the fight after all. Although it might not be a bad idea for me to save state. The dragon is sleeping. Yeah, this blocks my path to go through. I love how I can just walk right up to the dragon. Nothing happens. This dragon's dead to the world. Hey, 
a bat and we ambush them. Well, this is not gonna take very long. Let's go the other way. Getting a little low on hit points, but I can take another random battle. I hope. Yeah, I can take these guys. Hmm. Edward needs healing. Samson leveled up, though. It's always nice. Edward leveled up. One has to be very conservative when it comes to actually using items. Healing herb. That's it. That's all I can get here. That was quite the side quest for, or sidetrack for just getting a healing herb. Oh well. I'll go back heal again. I guess this makes up for the um, extra time that I spent before I had to reload this game. It's unfortunate. Ooh, that's a zombie. I did not realize there were zombies in this cavern. Zombies are not very nice. I'm gonna heal it, or I'm gonna end up, whatchamacallit, um. I'm gonna end up going to the end anyway, so it doesn't particularly matter. Yay, Annie. Little Miss Badass. Let's go ahead and quickly heal. Hey, hey look, it's morning already. Hooray, frame skip. I mean, I know these don't really save that much time, to be honest, but, well, makes me feel better. And yes, you just saw Annie do 14 damage. Annie is, well, really strong. She's probably, let's see how she is now. Uh, let's see, McWedka's at 23 attack, 18 not counting sword. 22 attack. So Annie is only one attack off of McWedka at this point, with higher defense. I keep telling you all, she's really strong. Of course, she has higher defense because of the ring, but... Annie also has higher attack than Samson. And everybody's higher attack than Edward. Edward's supposed to have lowest defense in the game. It's not that low. Oh well. So, this is one of the more obnoxious dungeons. Still nowhere near the top five, though. Um, which should give you an idea as to just how nasty the dungeons are in this game. So, the idea is that we need to push those things around. They're pretty easy to push. See, this is one of my favorite forms of battle music for non-boss in this game. Not that you get to hear much of it. So the whole idea is that you need to push that thing around and make sure that you don't get trapped. That's it. Like so. Then you can walk over the spots. This is a sliding block puzzle. This game loves sliding block puzzles. Hmm, good again. Not powerful enough for Annie. telling you people, Annie is ridiculously powerful, and I think she becomes far more powerful after promotion. Which is strange, because she's not the Master Monk. Mm-mm. 
actually don't remember which side I need to go down. Oh well. Yes, it just healed itself. Obnoxious. Anything that heals itself needs to die. Of course, it's, it, I'm fighting something that probably is going to die anyway. Hooray, I chose wisely. Maybe. Watch it be like a herb. Mold. Alright, my Gwetka leveled up. I learned Illusion! So, Illusion is a mistranslation. Apparently it's supposed to be Delusion. Sweet, I get equipment. Uh, it looks like Samson equipment, isn't it? I'm not gonna intentionally kill him or anything. It's just he's not good. Right, I remember the annoying part of this dungeon now. So, this game really likes the whole drop you down a level type mechanic. It gets worse. The legendarily worst dungeon of the game, and worst dungeon of any RPG ever, to my knowledge. Um, to the best of my knowledge, that is the worst dungeon in any RPG I have believe that exists. I know it's definitely the worst dungeon of any game I've played. Um, we're talking extremely high number of random battles, about every three to four steps. That's not an exaggeration, that's actually what it ends up being. And it's a maze. The problem is that it's a non-visible maze. You end up running into things, well, I can fast forward through this, although that's a decent number of enemies. This might hurt a bit. Um, anyway. The point is that um, you walk around this what appears to be an empty room. You run into various things. Either it's a head, which just blocks your path, or it's a hole that drops you down a floor. You can't see any of them in advance. So you're just wandering around aimlessly until you end up in a hole. Over and over and over again. I used to have the game memorized enough to be able to know where those holes were, but I don't remember anymore. I'll probably have to look that one up in an FAQ. I'm not going to try to go through that utter hell now. Oh, and Edward Thurn Dice One, in case if you didn't notice. And as you can tell, it costs substantially more than Fire One. Ice is much more powerful in this game than Fire. It's actually the same in find Training Force. Training Force 2, that is. I think in 1 also. Oh, hey, look, Samson leveled up. So many random battles. I think it's time for Annie to heal herself. My rule of thumb is that I tend to heal when in doubt. Um, this is a game that you don't want to accidentally overheal or underheal. Overhealing means that you end up out of MP constantly. Underhealing means that you end up dead constantly. I know that kind of sounds obvious, except in this game, it's actually pretty easy to die. I still haven't gotten to any of the ridiculously difficult part, and this section won't be in there. It will probably be, let's see, this would be part three, so if I'd have to give it a part, oh, forgot to fast forward. Uh, probably part five, I would guess? Maybe six? Okay, let's see. I need to get it. Okay, I know where I need to go. See, sliding block puzzles plus an extremely high random encounter rate equals frustration. This is usually where people stop playing the game. 
And this isn't even the hard part. This is just the annoying part. I mean, I haven't run out of healing items or even come close to running out of healing items, which is abnormal. You cannot play this game trying to conserve healing items. It just does not work. Uh, my quite could need some healing. Oops. So basically, I treat Annie like a frontline fighter that just happens to have a healing spell. Later on, I start treating her more like a frontline mage that happens to have a healing spell, but that's much later. <laughs> Yeah, it must be divided by four round down. That is, in fact, what ice looks like. Thought you might have wanted to see it. Okay, fast forward. Ooh, Samson's getting low on healing as er on hit points as well. Vitality points. I should use the correct terminology. Uh, Edward can still take another hit. Uh, sliding block puzzles everywhere. Do 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 do. So let's see, I should probably start trying to talk about things while I do this Let's Play, because otherwise I'm going to be bored from, well, the fact that this game doesn't require a whole bunch of mental thought. Huh. Imagine that. So, let's see. Um, I had a nice walk today. Uh, if you haven't already seen my Vita for today, this is actually, I'm recording this after that Vita. If we went in order for things that I did today, I did the part two of the Let's Play this morning, then went out for a walk while it was uploading. Um, went for a walk while it was uploading. Then let's see. That walk was when I recorded the let's or the Vita. After recording the Vita, I came back, ate some more cookies because apparently today is eat nothing but junk food day. And well, now I'm playing. And eventually I start using um, Edward a little bit more for actually using offensive management. The problem is that he has so little MP that it's not a good idea to use it much right now. Oddly Def Edward has the most MP in the game. Uh, let's see, what else have I done today? I started looking at camcorders. Uh, so I'd like to replace my phone, which is the primary way that I record vlogs, with something, well, better. Ooh, Samson needs healing bad. I keep feeling like I keep saying Samsung instead of Samson. Samson. Whatever. Son of Sam. Sammy. Oh, I forgot. I haven't actually showed you what magic looked like. Oh well, sorry. Or what the healing magic looked like, I should say. Stupid sliding block puzzles. I mean, I'm good at them, don't get me wrong, but... I kind of want to just fast forward through all of them.
kind of wish I can toggle F4, which is a button that toggles um, the removal of frames limit. Um, I wish I could just toggle it with a button on the 360 controller of some type. That'd be nice. Then I wouldn't have to keep using my hands. I'm lazy. Okay, so... Oops. Magic. Any heal. Ooh, you're really low on MP. I'm going to start using some herb. I mean, McWedka has crap tons of them anyway. Probably gonna pick one up anyway. Counter Jewel. Sweet. Um, that increases counterattacks by 50% for one combat. And by counterattacks, I mean counter rate. Oh, this place. So basically, you need to find your way down. And only some of these will actually go down to the correct spot. Otherwise, they'll just be bounced back up. It's not really that big of a deal because there's no random encounters as a result of that. So I just hit all of them. It's not that big of a deal. I want to say there's some type of item. Yeah, there is an item in here. I'm uh, just trying... Let's see. If I go down and right, I'm going to end up hitting that one. I need to go here. Yep. Source of life. First life is max hit points, by the way. I'm saving it. Trust me. You you want to save sources of life. Okay, there's nothing special in this one. I believe this is the correct one to jump down. Yep. And that's the end of that dungeon. Yeah, I don't know why that dungeon's there. There's absolutely no reason for it. It's just a forest. Oh, by the way, you walk through something. Oh, hey, look, it's another dungeon. <sighs> oh, and this game doesn't have tents, by the way, so I can't heal yet. Ah, yes, I. Third battle music. Already fighting demon hornets? Really? Okay. Ow! Crap. This is not gonna go over well. So, Annie's paralyzed at the moment. The only thing that can cure that is cure, which I don't have. Oops, I meant to use magic. Oh well. This may be a painful battle. Yes, that impressive two damage. Yeah, do it again. Edward's awesome. No. Seriously? There we go. Samson's at seven. Woo. Lots of dungeon crawling. Oh, which way is the correct way? This was the correct way, wasn't it? Damn it, me. One giant scorpion I can do. Oh. 
Just goes in a circle. Ah, crap, lots of poison. I am not good with poison here, people. Oh, I need to heal Annie. Crap. Well, if you're going to poison anybody, Edward's probably not that bad of a choice. Any level up. That's not enough MP. Ah! Holy Light! This is the reason why she's an offensive mage. Because Holy Light is actually more powerful than most offensive magic. You know, there is this shtick about me and healers, and that healers are awesome and things like that, but you know, it's not supposed to be this obvious that healers are awesome. Uh, Edward can take another hit. Trying to conserve things because, well, there's, you don't actually enter into any boss battles for quite some time, actually. This was the correct way. Um, the first boss is actually pretty late in this game, oddly enough, and is extremely difficult. Mm, I should heal Edward. I'm using Mikwetka's healing because he has the most of it. I don't like you, game. No. Scorpions. thing. There we go. So, um, video cameras, like I was saying before. So, I am looking at a couple of models. Uh, the main things that I'm looking for are for a 1080p webcam. Um, well, that's minimum requirement no matter what. I need a 1080p webcam. This doesn't work very well otherwise. And now I'm recording this at 720p, but that's because my computer has problems with OBS and 1080p. Not to mention, I'm playing a PS1 game. We're already upscaling the pure living crap out of this game. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Counter Orb. Uh, Counter Orb, I think, is the area of effect version of the Counter Gem. Anyway, um, what I'd like to have is two things. One, a webcam that can handle either 1080p at 60 frames per second instead of 30, so I can do slow-mo, which I can't do right now. Or, alternately, a camera that can do over 1080p. Not that I expect anybody to be able to watch this over 1080p. I don't have any devices over 1080p for that matter. The main reason is because, well... Oh, whoa. Samsung actually ended up rocky. I didn't notice that. Well, crap. That's gonna be annoying. Oh, well. I'm 
probably almost out of the dungeon anyway. So, yeah. A 4K camera would be freaking awesome, don't get me wrong, I can't afford such things, but, you know, I can downscale from there and be able to adjust things a little bit easier. Always better to downscale than to upscale. I mean, you're watching this upscaled right now, but that's okay. Not liking my odds right now. We're almost at the point of the game where things start getting very difficult, so... Yeah, I don't understand the zombie attacks myself. And yes, there's a reason why I didn't slow down this one. I'm actually button mashing in order to try to get things to work better. Like that. Not that two attacks is really that much better than one, but you know. Uh, he's dead. Yeah. Ever leveled up. Hooray, I have more MP to spend. That's another fire one. <sighs> Thought I was done with the dungeon. Oh. So, um, might as well talk about something else, Bomb playing this. Namely, what I want to do after Vita's done. So today's the 20th, so that means that I only have another 10 more days of Vita. Yeah, there's 30 days in April. Um, my idea is that there's been two types of videos that people seem to be liking. Um, the technical review type videos, which, while I'd love to be able to do those more often, I kind of can't because I need more things to review. I'm only reviewing things that I own, and I don't have that much money. There's also these types of videos, the times where I'm playing games. These are the two things that people seem to really like outside of cat videos. So what I'm thinking about doing is trying to release a video once a week. Um, either me playing a game or cat video. Minimum once a week, I should say. And before I go exploring... Is it north? Yes. I need to heal... The... Holy light! See, it's an area of effect spell on top of it. It's the first area of effect spell, as a matter of fact. And it's awesome. Go back to manual. Before they use up all of the MP. Welcome to the Kingdom of Zalgoon, renowned for freedom and happiness. Uh, until recently, and now Advisor Glade is destroying that happiness. But not the renown. Well, before I do anything at all... So expensive. Although later on in the game it gets far more expensive. I want to say like the last one's like 1500 gold pieces or something ridiculous. And you are usually poor in this game, by the way. Might as well talk to everybody. Hint, hint. I didn't want to jump in there yet. Good thing I'm just walking back up. Yes, this is the obligatory sewer dungeon place. You should be safe in Zalgo. No. Yes, because of the bridge, they'll have a harder time actually uh, invading. Because, you know, there wasn't a bridge between Bandor and Marion. Right, there was.
So pretty soon I'm going to have to decide on the whole cheating versus not cheating thing, or I should say exploiting the game versus not exploiting the game. Because I believe this is the town that you can buy those um, resist jewels. Such confidence. Poorly. Yes. I'm sorry, am I supposed to answer all of these questions? Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's ye oldie shop. Sir Bison. Bison? Really? Bison? Yeah. They're mean like that. You can't actually buy equipment in this town. Mm. Let's save here. This is probably actually a good time to stop since I'm already at 38 minutes or so. So, I will save, stop, and probably start another video because I can. Save. Alright, I will be back in a bit. Bye!